Hey, summer's still kicking, but fall is on the mind. And with that wreck in sports leagues across the region or on the horizon, but one of the game's most critical elements is in trouble. We are talking about the ref. Fox 5's David Kaplan live tonight in Maryland Soccer Plex in Germantown to talk about the shortage. Uh, David, why is it happening? Well, there's a couple of minor reasons, but one of the major reasons that keeps popping up based on officials I've talked to, groups responsible for organizing tournaments, is the fact that they say that parents have become a little bit more confrontational with the referees. I am a reporter, not a basketball player. I played a little growing up. Do I still have it? Maybe a little bit. That said, I didn't expect to make that, by the way. That said, that's... That was great, David. <laughs> Okay, sorry. All right, there, we'll go back to that in a second. Okay, that said, we are told from officiating groups that getting more and more parents to realize that their kids might not become professionals, to lower the temperature at games, they say that is one of the biggest things that can be done to try and help officials realize that this is a job that they can do. Take a listen. And I am exasperated because things haven't improved. They've gotten worse. And it's just a matter of the parents slash fans coming to grips with the fact that you're going to get some calls you don't like. That's Barry Mano with the National Association of Sports Officials. He says nationwide they're about 25 percent short. Older referees didn't come back after the pandemic, and the pipeline for new referees isn't large enough for the growing demand. Here at the Maryland Soccer Plex, Executive Director Matt Lieber tells me that he could use 100 soccer referees right now, and that he says that there's a shortage of about 2,000 in Maryland. I got a chance to talk to Andy Cruz. He's a soccer referee. He says that verbal abuse has become a constant for him. He's 17. Kids want to win, the parents want to win, and every single decision counts. Every single decision can impact the outcome of the game. And one simple mistake, because since we're all human, we're, we're bound to make mistakes, but one simple mistake can cause an outburst, chaos in the game. All right, so based on some organizations that we talked to, they have been in a position where they've had to cancel some games, but they're not at a point yet where there are going to be widespread cancellations. However, they say they need to get more officials in the pipeline and be able to replenish them, or else this problem could continue to get worse and worse. Jim, Marina. David, your shooting percentage is at 50%, uh, so congratulations. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, appreciate it. I missed the first one intentionally because yeah. the line was not a layup. I want to be very clear sure. about that. Okay. Sure. You redeemed yourself on that I second promise. one, so don't worry about it. <laughs> we like your photographer. I think he was just surprised he made it himself. Yeah, he was very uh, shook. Yeah. Nice playing. All right. See you later, David. Thank Still you. Bad.